At first I hated the idea of Sony not coming to E3 2020. I mean, this is the year of the PS5, the hell Sony, this is the time of the year where you show off your next gen console. But then I stopped and thought of all the positives and negatives of it, and I'm starting to come around to it. What are your thoughts? Hey guys, it's Rob here and welcome back to the Robotron Show where we cover the latest gaming news, leaks, and rumors from Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like or dislike, click that red subscribe button below the video, and have that notification bell on. In this video, we're going to talk about Sony and their plans for E3 2020, or lack of plans I should say, and what are the positive and negatives of Sony not attending the E3 2020, and then you guys can give me your thoughts down in the comment section below for some good old discussions on this topic. So I won't waste your time any longer, let's get straight to the topic, Sony may not be coming to E3 2020. Now this is a rumor and it comes to us from Video Game Chronicles who according to their sources won't be attending E3 2020. Now they bring up a very important part in their article and that's that a lot of these consoles that were revealed were not at E3. The Xbox Series X was revealed at the Game Awards. The Switch itself was revealed on its own terms with the rumored Switch Pro probably being the same. And I think this begs the question, what are the positive and negatives of Sony not attending E3 2020? Well, I I think the first is obvious, they would be able to hold their own event on their own time and place it on a smart date. One of the main objectives I think Sony has in mind is to keep the momentum of hype surrounding the PS5. Blow your load too soon and the hype of the PS5 dies down too quick, put it too close to the system release date and not enough people reach the news that this huge, giant, powerful console is coming out. Second, E3 hasn't been as big as it was a couple years ago. A lot of the times E3 is actually a big disappointment, Nintendo is off doing their own thing with the Nintendo Treehouse, Microsoft just brings a bunch of third-party games and exclusives that in theory look good but end up being a huge dumpster fire. Usually anyways. I still want to buy that new Gears game because it looks really fun. Third, money. It costs money to rent out these huge spaces. Why go to E3 2020 when you can just hold your own event with a smaller audience, a more controlled environment, and not have to spend that extra cash to fly out the announcing devs and all the people who are going to go, and that's not even including expenses that I don't even know about. But of course with positives comes negatives, and Michael Pactor who apparently doesn't have the best reputation thinks that it would be a huge mistake that the PS5 and Sony are not attending E3 2020 and this is what he had to say. As far as I know they don't plan to attend. I think that's a huge mistake as their focus on consumer is not consistent with their attendance at the premier industry trade show. I hope they change their minds but I am skeptical. Now other than the reasons that Michael Pactor says there are some other reasons why this would be to use his words a huge mistake. First off this is your new console. You want as much eyes as you can on this reveal and the best place to do that when everyone's talking about the next gen consoles is of course E3 2020. This is when everyone expects you to show off your new console and if you don't Microsoft could scoop you out right from under you and get a head start. I think by now with all the E3s in the past we know how powerful a head start can be when it comes to a new console. Number two is a negative for fans and Sony. Sony skipped out on E3 last year and it disappointed a lot of PS4 fans especially for those who went to E3 specifically for Sony conferences. If they skip E3 again it may end up being disappointing again. But on the other side Sony may end up holding their own conference on their own time so I guess you can look at it as a positive or a negative. In the end whatever Sony does we'll probably find out soon. Every year four plans are released well before E3 so if Sony doesn't tell us now we'll probably find out officially that way. So what do you think about Sony not going to E3 or rumored to not go to E3? What are the positives and negatives for you personally as a Sony fan or just a gamer? Tell me in the comment section below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.